It's been two years since the military took steps to root out extremism in the armed forces. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin created a group to investigate the growing issue back in 2021. Turns out the Department of Defense has done very little though since then. Mike Gooding has the details. Well, thanks for the question, Lita. The Countering Extremism Working Group was created by Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin in the aftermath of the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. In April of this year, USS Harry S. Truman sailor David Elizalde became the fifth active duty service member to be arrested by federal law enforcement for participating in the Capitol riot. According to the George Washington University's Project on Extremism, out of the 968 defendants charged with crime stemming from that day, 130 or 13 percent have some form of military background. The DOD Working Group released six recommendations on how to combat extremist ideology in the ranks, but the Pentagon has only enacted one of them. DOD Deputy Press Secretary Sabrina Singh was asked if the others would ever be acted upon. All recommendations have been assigned and are with the appro appropriate principal staff, um, but at this time I just have nothing more to announce. A DOD Inspector General report last December found that 211 investigations were launched into reports of domestic extremism between October 21 and September 22. Of those, 48 service members faced military legal action. 112 service members were referred to civilian law enforcement for investigation. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Last year, the Senate Armed Services Committee called on the DOD to halt its programs to root out extremism. A report accompanying the Senate's version of the National Defense, Defense Authorization Act stated in part, spending additional time and resources to combat exceptionally rare instances of extremism in the military is an inappropriate use of taxpayer funds and should be discontinued immediately.